In just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can rank your Wix website on the first page of Google fast. This is not technical and anyone can do it. What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I publish content on SEO, e-commerce, dropshipping and web development a couple of times a month. If you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button now. Okay, let's move on and get started with step one. Okay, so you've got yourself a Wix website. It's up and running. The one we're looking at here is one we did for a previous YouTube, which is how to build a hotel website with Wix. If we want to get a website like this ranked on Google or any other Wix website, there's a few things we need to follow. The first one is we've got to do the basic SEO steps that are outlined in the Wix admin panel. And we will briefly go over that shortly. Second step, we've got to connect with the Google console, so it will index the site fast once we've completed our SEO steps. Then we need to have a look at what keywords and phrases and content we want to rank our site for, and then we need to publish that content and optimize it. So the first step is, let's take a look at what Wix tells us we need to do first of all. Okay, so now we're across on the Wix admin page, and if you go to get found on Google menu here, you'll get to this page, and you can see there's a whole bunch of steps under step one of get your home page ready for Google search. Now, I'm not going to run through all these steps today because I'm sure there's lots of other videos out there. In fact, you may have already done these steps and now you're wondering why you're not appearing on the first page of Google. If you haven't done this already, run through these steps. Now, often it'll tell you go and make an update to your title tag and description and some other details. Then you need to publish it, come back here, do a refresh and then you'll, you know, you'll probably get a whole bunch of green ticks. If we go across to the editor for, for this site here, you can see where those SEO details are. So you just click on the menus and pages, say for the home page, click on here, it's got SEO basics. If you scroll down, you can see this is going to be your, your pages title tag, and this is where you put your pages meta description. This one here, typically you want it around 50 to 60 characters. This one here, 130 to maybe 160 characters. Further on in this tutorial, if I'm talking about the, the title tag and description or the metadata for the page, this is what I'm talking about. So once you've got yourself green ticks on all the SEO setup checklist here in Wix, and you've connected your Google Search Console, it's time to move on to getting the tools that are really going to ensure or basically guarantee you can get your site ranking on Google. So we need a couple of tools to help us with getting ranked on Google with our Wix website. The first tool we need is SEMrush, and we're going to use that to find low competition keywords. And I'm going to show you how this works in a moment. The second tool we need is Surfer SEO. Surfer is going to help guide our content to ensure we rank on that first page. It's going to tell us how many headings we need, what type of headings we need, amount of paragraphs, the words, the images, the entire content structure that will get us to that, that first page. So I'm just going to log in and we'll take a look. Just before we go into keyword research with SEMrush, just want to look at the different types of websites and how content can impact the ranking on Google, particularly with Wix. A lot of Wix users, they use a template, has some sections for some content. You replace the temporary text with your own and then you follow the SEO steps and nothing happens. Commonly, the reason for that is there is not enough content on the page to give enough signals to Google as to what that page relates to. This site in particular, it doesn't have much content at all. There's nothing on the home page. The meeting and events it has a little bit of content but it's mixed up and it's not focused around a keyword or a phrase so that's not going to rank for anything the best way to get this site to rank or a page of it to rank will be via a blog so you could do a blog like you know for this particular site which is a hotel in Flinders you know write a blog around luxury Flinders hotel staycation maybe 2,000 words a bunch of images heaps of headings this type of thing and you'll probably get it to rank with a different type of website say you know web design agency for example you know you can have a lot of structured focused content around the actual service. So for example, web design, SEO services, Google ads, and that type of thing. With that said, let's go and do some keyword research and then we'll tie that into how to produce good content, publish it, optimize it, and show you how you can get your Wix website on the first page. Okay, now we've logged into SEMrush, we're gonna do a bit of keyword research. What you wanna be looking for is a keyword that has a low competition level or a low level of difficulty to rank for. So just to prove a point, if I chuck Nike in here, 
for example. As you would expect, this is going to be very hard to have content to rank high on Google because there is so much competition around the word Nike. So huge volume, 100% the most difficult word probably to rank for. We want to try to get a keyword difficulty below 30%. The keyword we're going to go after for today is ShipBob 3PL. So here we go with ShipBob 3PL as our keyword. We've got a difficulty of under 30%. It's telling us it's easy and it's quite possible to rank for this keyword. Related keywords, we've got 406 of them and we've got volume of around 85,000 searches around, around these keywords. And as you can see here, the cost per click, it's actually gone up since I've uh, started doing this work. It was around $20.18, but now it's showing $22.92. That's US. So if you were to run paid ads, this is the kind of cost you'd expect per click for this keyword. What we're going to do is we're going to get this um, piece of content to rank on the first page of Google and all the clicks we get are going to be free. Okay, so we've chosen our keyword and it's going to be SEO agency Hawthorne. And this is really just for example purposes. We're going to create this article around SEO agency in Hawthorne that would go onto our Wix website. And because it's going to be so tightly produced, we can just about guarantee that it's going to rank rank on that first page. So go to the content editor, hit create content editor. So we just select that here. Now it might take a minute or two for the framework for this um, keyword to be generated. And then we'll go in there and I will show you how that works. So once the framework's been created, we just click on it. We're here in the content editor, and this is where we're going to produce our highly optimized content with the guidance of Surfer. First thing you'll see up here on the right is the content score. When we're finished writing our content here, we're going to be in the green, probably a score of 70 and above. The way we do that is follow the content structure. We've got the amount of words that are recommended, the headings, the amount of paragraphs, and the images. If we follow Surfer's guidance, we can see that it's telling us the type of words and phrases that need to be included in this content. So digital marketing, it's suggesting you need between five and 15, that word needs to be repeated. Same as SEO services between one and four, etc., etc. You can sort of do a framework of your content, maybe work out which headings you want to use, then start filling it in with your paragraphs, and then you put the images in and you'll find this, this score goes up accordingly. I'm just going to jump across now to an article that has been done to show you what a finished article looks like. Then we will come back and audit a published article and show you how you can further optimize it that way. Okay, so I've just opened up a piece of content that we did a week or so ago around ShipBob 3PL. We did this for a video to show that using Surfer, you can get ranked on Google within about 24 hours. So if you want to check out that video, I'll put a link at the end of this video on the on the end screen. Once you do follow the guidance of Surfer, you will get that score quite high. So we're at 76 on this one. That was enough to get this page ranked on the first page of Google in about the third position. And on Bing, we got first page first position. One of the important things to remember is Google is ranking a page not a website. When we talk about getting ranked, we're focusing the content on one page, which is a single URL and the content within it. So now that we've sort of had a bit of a look around Surfer, how to get your framework set up for your keywords, I'm going to audit a page that we've already published and you can see the results that come back. And then Surfer actually gives you more guidance and indicators how you can further improve that content. So let's do that now. Okay, let's say you've produced your content with Surfer. It's optimized. You've got a good content score, maybe 70 or 80. You now copy that content from Surfer and you paste it into Wix on your, on your page where you're gonna have that content. You need to make sure that you add your title tag. So in this case, it might be SEO services. And remember earlier in the video, we showed where you put your title tag. Then you want to add your meta description, and that's maybe something around 150 to 160 characters. So you might take the first paragraph that sort of outlines what the page is about, paste it in there, save it, and then publish it. Now, once you've published it, you can go back and audit that content to further optimize and improve it, and just make sure there's other, no other issues that we need to, to deal with. So to do that, you take a copy of the URL that the page is published on, and then you go back into Surfer, and you click on audit, and then you add the URL like we have here, 
SEO services. You add the keyword that you're targeting for that content. The keyword we were targeting is SEO agency Hawthorne, and then we hit create audit. Okay, so now the audit's been generated, we just click on it. Now that we're in the results page for the audit, we can get some details about our content. If we look at the content score, and we just open up the details here, we can see we're sitting on around 61. Ideally, we want to be up in this zone here. In order to improve the content further, Surfer gives you some suggestions. So one of the areas I first go to is the terms to use. If you order this by search volume, you can see the highest volume words it's suggesting to, to change. I could improve this content by adding you know, maybe a couple of reference to graphic designers, search engine optimization. I might need an extra word or two for that one, etc. So you just work your way through this list, adding words that give you the, the green tick. Just remember any content you produce, make sure it's uh, it makes sense. Don't just jam words in to increase your score because if it doesn't come out as natural language, Google can pick that up. Also, keep in mind that if users who read it don't like it, they will just bounce straight off it, and that sends a bad signal to Google as well. It's got to be good content. Further down here, Surfer tells you about the word count. Most of it's looking pretty green here, so that's okay. Thing to keep in mind, when you go back to your content, so we went back to the content here, we went into edit it, we made some changes and republished it. When you come back to the auditor, you just can press refresh, and it'll go and reorder it. So it's an iterative process once you get to this point. And what you want to do is end up in the top two results. And in the video we did last week on the ShipBob 3PL review, you can see this entire process in a little bit more detail and see when you get in that top two and the results you, you get. The final step in all of this is actually see where we rank in Google and we can also take a look at Bing. So let's do the final step and wrap this up. Okay, if we go to a site where our content is published on our Wix site and we have all the content in, we've optimized it, we've got our title tags, our meta description page we're targeting, it's time to see how we're going on Google. For this one, SEO services, I'm going to go over to Google now and just see where this actually ranks. I've just typed in here SEO services Hawthorne. You can see this is actually the very first page of Google and there we are there. So page one, you can see there and we're probably halfway down. So that, that's pretty good. And this will drive quite a bit of traffic as it does to our site. If we want to take a look at another example, if we look at this article here, ShipBob 3PL review, this was a blog post we did for a video last week that I mentioned. We highly optimized it with Surfer to prove you can rank really fast using it. And so if I go over to, I'll use Bing in this example, if I chuck in here, ShipBob 3PL review, you can actually see where the third one down on the top page, on the front page. So front and center, basically on the on the first page. So I think you've probably got an appreciation for, for what you need to do. SEO is a science, not an art. If you follow the right steps, you will get the result. If you'd like to try SEMrush, there is a link in the description. It's free to use. I generally use the free one because you can get a certain amount of searches per day. And if it's just a bit of keyword research, that's all you need. For Surfer, there is a link in the description. Give it a go. Optimizing your website yourself is a lot cheaper than getting an agency to do it. It can cost anywhere between two and $20,000 to have the SEO work done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you do need any further help, you can jump over to our ambitious private group. There's a link in the description. If you successfully log in, you will see a page that looks like this. There's a range of what they call spaces down the left-hand side. This is where you can go into those areas and post any kind of question you like. It's an area where you can get some free support. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.